I'm Jeff Wittick, this is Tana Mojo. And we're here at Fashion Week, and we're going to be interviewing people on the street. Who are you wearing? What I'm wearing? Who are you wearing? Who I'm wearing? It's a contest. You win $1,000 if you could guess a celebrity that she's had sex with. You? <laughs> where'd you get that banana? Where, can I just ask him, where did he get the banana? Excuse me, don't talk here. Hello? Go outside. Go outside. It's just a banana. Go outside. Where's the banana from? Go outside. Okay. Stupid guy. All right, all right, all right. Don't throw the banana. Whoa, I could have slipped on that. Yeah, what are you guys up to? We're just fucking doing interviews. All right, he's so angry about it. I don't know, I just, I'm mad. I got trauma, I'm f***ing pissed off. Are you gonna buy any of this shit? Fuck time? yeah. Are these real? Um, would you f*** him? Let's see. Does it mean if I say no? What the f***? What are your thoughts on the death of Logan Paul? Logan? Oh, man. What's the craziest drugs you ever tried? Oh, my God. Ah, uh, PS, PS, what's P, PSP, what is it? PS4? Hey, what's your body count? Three. Are any of them your cousin? Now. Give me all the f***ing money out of the register. How much for your kid? How much for that kid? We want that kid. She laughed. We want that kid. PSPC? Is it? PCP. PCP. Yeah, PCP. What are your thoughts on the political and economical state of the world? <laughs> no response. F***ing idiot. What are your thoughts on Kanye West? He seems fine. What's his secret to happiness? Smoke a lot of weed. Hey, you know Congrats. a good place to get a slice of pizza around here? Straight to Canales. Nah, <laughs> Black History Month or New York Fashion Week? Fashion Week. What do you think about those UAPs? You think they really think aliens are coming? I think they're already here. What you need? Uh, cocaine. I can get that. Yo, bro, she's recording right now, bro. This is the news, bro. I do magic. How you doing? I just I'm doing good. You do magic. Guess her body count. Seven. Exactly. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's how you know magic's fake. Shut the f*** up. Come in there right now. I'll see you in a sec. Okay. Bye. Bye. Did you actually, like go over stuff with me last time? No. Or was it, you just gave me a bunch, right? Yeah. And you're like, take what you like? Oh, so now we actually get to do the full on. Yeah, cause I was like, that's why I was like, oh, do you want me to just drop it off? Cause. No, I want you to pick it. stuff for me. Cause like I said, if I just dress myself, I could do it good, but it'll just be too like, what is this guy in, in 2013? And Tana wants me to match her. I'm like, what do you think we okay, are? Her looks are like a little <laughs> crazy. So like you could do like you guys could have a matching leather look. No, no, I don't. I oh, you do, don't want to do match. not want to match. Oh, okay. well, I she don't. didn't say anything about matching to me either. She's delusional. It's, it's, it's fashion week, you know. Like I, I gotta think outside the box. Yeah. Like a simple, like wow. You <laughs> secretly filming me, pervert. It's not bad. I like it. I kind of like these. Maybe I can just buy these shoes off. Me. Okay, so so far I'm loving everything. I feel like ASAP Rocky. Damn, this is sick. Even these things. Unnecessary straps. I mean, what would these even be for, you know? Like if I'm gonna fight somebody, like say this guy's trying to fight me, right? Now, what I would normally do is, see the, re the reverse back fist? But if he has access to these and he pulls these down, it could be an issue. It, unfortunately, it looks cool, but I just can't risk getting pulled down. Do like, you wanna like take a quick photo so you can remember the looks? Did you just rip that off? I did it as a joke. Oh my God, Kyle, what the are you, are you doing? How much are these pants? 5,000. Open up, woman. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my what? God. You're I such a sexy belt. <laughs> I brought you things. <laughs> Dirty underwear is crazy. What the f is this? I so love that one. Oh my crazy. God. Uh, Just an old me. There's another one too. Like what here. the? F what is this? Uh, no, You're trying to quit smoking? Um, I did get oh, those so because weird. the vape is making me cough like to the point where I'm like literally embarrassed to be around no you. No way. Like, you're gonna make, it's, it's not even like my cute cough. It's like it's like not cute. Well, it's not open. Let's get that patch on you right on here. Fashion I'm kind of scared, Jeff. Like, how how do you feel? <laughs> it's so funny you chose this method, a page, patch. Page. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so it's so Vegas, fucking white woman. <laughs> Should a patch cough and still smoke? Open with the patch on. Uh, Guess what I brought? We're having a. What's that? Oh my! I brought one too. All right. This time last year, last Fashion Week, we made the best, Wait, the best video ever. Incredible. Cheers. We can film each other. Great. <laughs> We're gonna do it again this year. Yeah. What's the most important thing? Clout. Money. No, no, no eating, no food, no <laughs> food. Jeff, I can't believe this is like tradition for us. Like I know. A year ago today, we were doing exactly this and nothing has changed. And I think we make the same amount of money and the Paul brothers are way richer than us. And like, is this our lives? Until Get the f out of here. We'll make the same amount of money. Look at this place. <laughs> it's not true. Oh, f it. I'm doing it. I'm just going to start Where selling Where are you dudes. saying? A shoebox? Yeah, I, honestly, we should have got a place together because I ended up paying the same amount of money because I listened to Mike. I was just going to say, your mic's and it's so unfortunate. I'm just a woman. I'm done with him. I'm done hanging out with Mike. This is a trip for you and me to 
rekindle that flame that we had, that we once had. <laughs> okay. That's fizzled out. It went out. Yeah. You think there's hope? I think there's hope. You're so hard to like work with. Like, you're like, yeah, let's go. I'm so excited for fashion week. Just you and me, baby. I'll do whatever you want. I'll wear whatever you want. And then you get here and you're like, why can't I wear my joggers? Can you sew this for me? Kyle ripped it off. Do you know how to sew, woman? <laughs> I don't know how to sew. What do you think, the pants? It's a little, a little new for me, you know? Yeah. But I like that it's got a lot of pockets on it, you know? I'm gonna go put some shit in there. I'm gonna eat these in the front row at the fashion show. I'm just gonna be eating candy. In case somebody needs a haircut out there, deodorant, hair oil. It's not out yet, but you know, things to bust out. AirPods, you never know. Gum, laptop. Do you like this? I think you should tuck that necklace, maybe. It's a part of me. This is who I am. I know. Yeah, because it's giving like Fashion Week X, X, X prisoner. Yeah. yeah. Look, X don't like fucking tell me about fashion. You're supposed to express yourself. This is who I am. Amen. <laughs> We're back. That's a contender right there. I predict another cancellation big time for us this show. We did it last year. I think we, I should be vaping obnoxiously. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna eat this candy I got in my pocket. We're gonna try to cause a seat. Real quick, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Fellas, are you running into stubble trouble? Well, the leaders in Below the Waist have now come up with something for your face. Look, your face is the first thing people see. It's like not even close to when people see your nuts. If you take that much care of your nuts, then you should be taking way more care of your face. Okay, think about it. You know, Manscaped, they're trusted with your nuts, so why not trust them with your face? They got new products out. Go check. <coughs> Ah, let me wait for the subway to pass. Go down to the link in the description now and use my code Jeff's Barbershop for 20% off plus free shipping. All you gotta do is go down to the link in the description and use my code for 20% off plus free shipping. All right, thank you Manscaped for sponsoring the show. Now let's get back on with it. All right, look, this is our planned strategic publicity stunt. This actually, I, I was just tagged in, but our plan to eat candy at Fashion Week in the front row and make it seem. And now we're gonna send it to a drama channel and hope it goes viral and we're planning our own scandal and keeping the lights on, keeping the rent paid, keeping Whoa. food in our kids' mouth. She's a clout mastermind. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Jake Paul's probably fucking Why does it always have to go back to Jake Paul? <laughs> Update, we are at another fashion show. Our and publicity it's already stunt. gone stupid viral, by the way. Stupid viral is so embarrassing, you need a new stupid phrase. Stupid viral. And now we're offering a service to do publicity stunts at fashion shows. He just tried. You need us to come to your show, make ourselves look dumb, and get more eyes on your shit, right? He actually just pitched to the CEO of this company. He was like, $50,000 and we'll do a PR stunt here too. And I had to run away, I'm not even 50 G's, baby. You want me to make, <laughs> make myself look dumb? I'm down. Work it, can I hold? Dude, 
Logan text you back? I'm so in, but I think he's gonna sue. Can you look at your phone? Yeah. <laughs> don't show Sarah, please don't show Ooh. Sarah. There might be another text that got sent out that will get her really pissed off, but it was a joke for content. I did not mean. Jeff, what did you say? I just sent like a bunch, I, I hacked into his Siri and I no, sent, I said, Hey Siri, text Logan Paul, I love you bro. Why are you exposing my Definitely hit sent. Lana text from his phone. You're such a menace. No, no, Why the last. No, that bitch for sure. Now. No, Logan. 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 Okay. Wait, are you crazy, Sarah? Yo, Tana. Yeah. Yo, Bible. We for real eight today. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. I'm proud of you. Hey, big day tomorrow. Big day tomorrow. Guess what day it is? 9/11. And 22 years ago, you know who else had a big day? The Taliban. Mama. Yes. Yes. Mama. And tomorrow we are going. This. This is. Oh my God, go! <laughs> All right, it's 9-11. Tana and I had a plan to meet up with my mom and do this sort of memorial service and make some 9-11 jokes to ease the trauma. But Tana slept in. I can't believe it. I'll never forget this. I will never forget this, Tana. You stood me up on 9-11. Right now, the second plane would be hidden. I didn't even care about doing this. She's the one that said, get your mom out here. I love her. I would love to see her and do 9-11 with you guys. You'd sleep through 9-11, you whole. All right, we are here at the World Trade Center Memorial on 9-11. Right now, I have an actual 9-11 survivor coming along to meet us, and we're gonna do a very in-depth interview. We're gonna find out what it was like for her when the plane hit, coming down the tower, when it fell down, how she ended up having a cool celebrity son out, out in Hollywood, how she feels about that, how her son made it. It's my mother that's coming. It's the only 9-11 survivor we could get. Hopefully she makes it, you know? <laughs> hey, good to see you too, Jeff. When I had to run out of the building, I had to run through here, run down the steps and ran out there. Well, you went this way and the yes. ferry's over there? Well, I didn't run to the ferry right away because we didn't know what happened. And didn't you come back and work at this building when you came back? Well, like years later? The street, right uh, 200 West Street. Right back into it, right back into the trauma and faced it and got a new and job yes. three years later. Or two years later? About three years later. It's crazy. People are always trying to kill us, Mom. We keep going. <laughs> we keep going. <laughs> we keep pushing and end up in the same place. <laughs> Thank Let's go. God. Thank Let's go. God. Yeah. <laughs> you had terrorists that tried to kill you. I just had some sociopath pedophile. So when you were walking out of the building, yes. did you see like bodies? They told you not to look back. They told you to keep running. And then when I got across and I was outside there and I saw people on the top hanging out the just hanging out of the windows. And I saw people jump. And then once I saw them jumping, I, I just said, I can't stay here and watch this. And I saw people in the stairwell, in wheelchairs that couldn't get out. And I know that they didn't make it out. And uh, yeah, just people that you would see every day, familiar faces. What do you want to do? You want to go to the uh, memorial? Sure. If she's a survivor, uh, do you have a ticket or no, proof? No. Do we have proof? How do you no. prove that? I worked on the 44th floor, but at One World Trade Center, I'm, but I know that's, we, that's no proof. That, they charge survivors just to come back? Yeah, please don't, don't board me. Yeah, what was that, 40 straight? Oh, wow. 25? <laughs> we all went to bed at like uh, 3 a.m. Jeff got up at 5 a.m. He ran 10 miles with Casey Neistat. Wow. There he is. And I slept in like a normal person. I texted him and... Oh. Damn. What's going on in this place? What up? Like a fuck. Crack house. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, are you ordering room service on my guard? Yes. <laughs> Casey, nice that. Good. They're all right. I'm a little How banged up. How are you? I missed you on a run this morning. I know. I was going to come and I was just Hi. like, oh. Casey. I'm Casey. Have you always lived here? What was on here now? This is where I hide from my family. Can I put a podcast studio in here and just come podcast yeah. here and move to New York? So you'll see my studio, but it's like, I have this extra space. And right now it's just fucking like dead storage. Just and like I knew fucking it. I knew it. Shit. I've always wanted to come here. 
Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been so long, Casey. How's life? Um, life is really good. Yeah. More wholesome, more... Damn, this is just a perfect man cave. I just want to go to burn a man and suck my own dick. What, um, what was the name of the thing again? Logan Paul Vlogs. My mom's fangirling over the mayor right now. He was a good mayor. Better than that scumbag Giuliani. Thanks for taking those OTBs out. My father was a gambling addict. My dad too. Oh yeah? I just want to go to burn a man and suck my own dick on a spaceship.